Next, I'm going to show you how to create the basic navigation structure for your website before we start adding more advanced features like online ordering. In WordPress, it's really easy to add content to your website and you can do really nice things with text and images and different layouts just using WordPress as it comes. So we'll do that now. Here we're back into the WordPress admin for my test sites and I'm going to create a page. So let's go to pages, add new. And let's make this my home page. So we'll just call it home and welcome to my website. Obviously you won't write that. Uh, you can use um, the Gutenberg editor, which is the name of the page builder that comes with WordPress itself. So you can basically add lots of different types of blocks and column layouts and text and images and bullet lists and whatever you want. So click this little plus icon, which says add block, and you can see all these different things that you can use to build your pages. So you can add all sorts of things. You can add headings. This is a heading. You can click on any of these little pluses. You can add an image. Let's add an image. And you can even add multiple column layouts. Obviously, this is going to look terrible, but um, we'll just do that for now to give you an idea of what's possible. So I've published my page in the top corner and it says view page. So I'm going to have a look at what I just did. Here's a not very well presented page, which I just created. So I've got the main title of the page. I've got the text that I added, the heading I added and a random picture. Now we're going to set the page as my home page because I want people to be taken to this when they go straight to my website and when they click on this logo at the top. We're going to go back into the WordPress admin and then we're going to go to settings, reading. At the moment, the home page displays your latest post, which is the WordPress default, but um, most business websites don't want to have, they're not a blog, they don't want to display posts on their website. They want to display a page which introduces their company. So we'll go home page and select home, which is what I just created. And if you want a blog, then by all means, add a different page and select it here. And that's where your posts will be displayed. But for a business website, you probably don't want to have that as your home page. I'm also going to tick this box, uh, search engine visibility, because I'm still working on the site. But if you do that, make sure you untick the box when you launch your website. Otherwise, you'll get no visitors. So really important. This is a useful setting for development purposes, but always set yourself a reminder to untick it. Otherwise, you can really do some damage by stopping people from finding it in search engines. Um, they, people can still access the website directly if you tick that box, but it's about the search engine visibility, which is really important for most websites, of course. So we've got that ticked for while we're in development. And I'm going to add another page now and call it my about page. So we go pages, add new. About. Now this is all about my company. Again, you can use the word the WordPress Gutenberg editor to add lots of different blocks and really create quite a nice looking page there. So then we're going to click publish again, but I'm not going to view it this time. I'm going to click on this W, which takes us back to the main WordPress admin. And now I'm going to add a menu. A menu is not a food menu. It's a navigation menu, which will appear um, on your website. Normally in most themes, it appears across the top of the page, but there are some themes that still have it towards the left hand side, for example. So we're going to go to appearance menus and I'm going to create my first menu. So I'm going to call it main menu because some themes have multiple menus. They might have like a little pre header bar at the top with a menu in it. They might have menus in the footer or something. So it's easy, good to be clear about which menus which. And I'm going to select a display location. I want it to be the primary menu because in the storefront theme, which I'm using on my website, there's also a secondary menu and a handheld menu, but I want to select it um, for primary. So I'm going to then create my menu. 
and now you'll see that this left hand side has ungrayed it was grayed out before and now I've created the menu I can start adding links to it to add pages to the menu go to the list of pages and probably go to view all but there's different ways to find pages so I want to add home and about to the menu I've ticked them both then I click add to menu and you can see we've put them here and this reflects how your menu will look if you want to create more complex menu structures, you can just use drag and drop to indent it. So if you do this, then about will be in a drop down underneath home. Whereas if you do it like this with them at the same level, they will appear at equal importance uh, instead of as a child menu link of the other one. You can also select blog posts and you can add custom links. So if you wanted to I don't know why you would ever do this, but let's say we want to link to google.com from our menu, then you could do. Um, so that's a way to link to anywhere you want, even if it's not a page on your website. And you can also select specific blog categories. Once we've installed WooCommerce later on in this course, you will be able to see more options here. When you go to screen options at the top, you'll be able to see things like products, product categories, product tags, all sorts of things. And if you tick those boxes, you see here that it opens up what appears on the left so that you can add those to your menu as well. But for now, we're going to keep our menu really simple. I've saved the menu and now I'm just going to show you what it looks like on my website. So here we've got the menu I just created, home and about. As we go through the course and I show you how to create different lessons, then we'll start adding them to your menu so that your menu grows over time and creates a comprehensive navigation structure for your website.